Hey there, Hofstra fans. Welcome inside the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com. Nick Flasher joined each and every week by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride women's basketball team, Coach Javesky. Coach, how are we doing today? Doing great. Well, we're getting ready for the CA tournament coming up this week. Well, we begin, first of all, let's look at this season so far. You finish the season at 22-7, uh, and 13-5 and in conference play. You finish as a third seed tied with Drexel. So I guess just to start off this show, how do you feel as the regular season has come to a close? How do you feel about your team? Uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud. Uh, you know, we know there's a few that we let go. They bring it up quite often, uh, you know, where we should be, and that's always going to be the case, right? You always look back. But just really proud of uh, how they responded, how this group has responded, you know, the end of the season with some of the things that have happened to us. Um, but for them just to kind of set themselves a goal, we got to 22 to head into the tournament. Uh, and just proud. I think collectively we have really rallied together as a group and playing with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm and playing really good team basketball right now. And, I mean, to regroup your team, you win three straight. And you always want to have the hot hand going into the tournament. So those three straight wins, how do you feel knowing now that with a little week off, how do you feel getting ready for this tournament coming well, up? Well, I mean, I think it was more important this year um, with this group because we had, a, you know, some a lot of starter uh, mm -hmm. out. We had a six man out, and I think it was just much more important for the folks that were on the floor. I think that made us focus in a little bit more. Um, not saying that you should never not focus, right? I mean, we, you know, we had a different ending last year, but um, but it was I think it's just much important because the people were getting a lot of minutes and hadn't had a lot of minutes, so. Um, but you know we, we feel you know we feel great. We've just, you know just really been fine tuning all week long. Um, you know Darius and Angie have been kind of leading the packs and Jaquel with the seniors and you know we just been trying to do all these little things to get ready for the tournament and you know get ready for these uh, three days back to back. In this about week and getting ready for the tournament, what are you telling your team to get ready? Or are you letting them decompress for a little bit and let them focus more on classes before you get to this? with the stretch coming up in the next few days? Certainly. We, we gave them time off, and um, we just really been cheering and having good energy and practices, calling it, you know, championship, CA championship week, you know, meaning that, you know, we're going into the, the championship, uh, you know, conference tournament, and we got to take it one step at a time. You know, we're playing the team we just played, and, uh, you know, but we really are not looking ahead, and you can kind of tell in their eyes. You know, today was a really good practice, and, again, just kind of working on things about us. It's really just been about us all week. And just, I, I want to bring up, because this is a team that was all here last season for the most part, have you brought up last year and using that, I guess, as motivation or it's just more of no. I set on just this next game coming up against Exactly. You know, we, we know, obviously, we, uh, you know, ended and, and had, uh, you know, a different record from the end of last season. And, you know, we've, we've had to accomplish some other goals we want to get accomplished. But, uh, you know, every year, every year is different. You know, every, uh, every challenge is different. So... Uh, again, we're just setting our sights on Northeastern and just, uh, you know, relying on our senior leadership. And you've been bringing it up a few times over the past few weeks. The adversity this team has had to deal with, with injuries coming in, but players have stepped up. Jaquel King-Gilchrist has played phenomenal the past two games. Aliana Leon has come in. So I think now you're starting to see that uh, starting five that you want to see and making those adjustments even though you've had those injuries. Yeah, you know, it, it is crazy. That's the beauty of sport. You know, the opportunities to rise and how people rise to the occasion. I mean, Jaquel... Uh, you know, we almost had a season injury with her just, you know, she was out for two and a half weeks, you know, so it's just bizarre how everything has just kind of played out. Uh, you know, so two players that were injured, you know, Aliana was injured earlier in the year. So just imagine if we could, you know, could have had collectively all year long everybody. So it's always that thing that you do reflect as a head coach if you had everybody healthy, everybody going. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So it's just, I've been really proud of Aliana the minute she's been playing and Sandra Dongmo. Uh, you know, along with Jaquel. So just getting them to gel, getting them in situations. We did that a lot over the weekend, making some of those people play in some tight, you know, late game situations that they might not have been as familiar with and putting Aliana on the free throw line and, you know, things like that to try to, you know, build that suspense and, and that pressure and some of that tension that happens in the tournament. Well, let's look at the CA quarterfinals against Northeastern. Played this team last week up at Northeastern. So you two are familiar with each other pretty much. I mean, it was a close game. You guys were down double digits in the first half of play. You come back. You get the win, and a game where Ashley Durant wasn't really that effective. I mean, right. the officials didn't let her to be, but, I mean, what are you expecting in, uh, I guess, the rubber match between these right. two teams? Right, you know, it is. I mean, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. All that, that first one, I don't care where it is. It's always tough, but, you know, here's the team we just played. They were geared up. They were ready. They were fighting for, you know, something. They were they were seeing that, you know, they were trying to handle what they needed to handle at their place, which they've beaten a lot of people at their place. You know, beat Delaware, they beat Elon. They beat a lot of people at their place. Uh, you know, put a good run on everyone. So it's a hard place to play. So we knew that they were going to be extra focused, extra ready. Um, and, it, and it was to be a game. It was a game that was to be expected like that. So now, 
you know, now when, you know, what's going to happen here, DeVries is going to be ready with her senior leadership along with Sally and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a battle. I mean, there's no way to say it. I mean, you know, they, I'm sure they're tweaking things and fine-tuning things for the tournament and, uh, you know, and uh, I don't expect anything less. So it should be fun, be exciting and uh, just a really good challenge for a first game and not easy. I think not easy for all of us. Every one of us um, could possibly be playing someone that they just played a week ago. And a uh, name that you didn't bring up, but uh, a freshman on the team, Jess Janko. Uh, yeah. She, uh, an uh, incredible game, and really as, as a freshman, just being able to distribute the ball. How are you trying to lock someone like that down who did have a good performance? She did. I mean, she scored a couple week. of those late in the fourth quarter, but we expected her to, to, you know, really be leading the pack in that. And so, you know, here you are, a kid that is a contender for the freshman of the year. I mean, I, you know, I thought she'd really be. The minute she's played, she's, in, you know, like third or fourth and in, in, in like four or five statistical categories. Um, I think even in the nation, she has some more most minutes played as a freshman in the nation. So, you know, here's this young lady that has just been playing well. And so she was a huge focus for us up there. We let her slip away a little bit late, uh, you know, so we just, we got some game plan on her, what we need to do with her, and then obviously do a better, get a better job on Samantha DeFreeze and then don't really sleep on anybody else. They have some power to shoot from the outside with Claudia and, uh, you know, so they, they have a lot of arsenals. And Coach, uh, it takes three wins now in the CA tournament to win that CA title. So I want to ask you, before you go down to Upper Marlboro, Maryland, what does this team have to do to get those three straight wins and become the CA champion? Well, man, we got to get that first one too, Nick. So I think that is like just such a huge focus right now. I mean, we know we've got to. So we, what do we need to do? We have to win. We have to win the first one to even to get the opportunity to shoot this, to get to the second one. So, you know, we are. Um, you know, we just got our sights set on that, and, and you know, we know everyone so well, whether it ends up being, you know, we take care of business, whether it's Drexel, and then where it ends up being, you know, you play everybody so much, so, you know, but it has been about us, but executing down the stretch, being more disciplined with the basketball, not turning the ball over, which was a huge focus, even going into the latter part of the of the regular season here, so, you know, I think that, I think you got to be disciplined, you got to defend and rebound like crazy, you got to take care of the basketball, because you're going to, you know, great players are going to make great plays, I mean, we're going to have to, be able to, to make buckets when we need to make buckets. I mean, I think, uh, you know, that's it. And then that element of trying to keep some legs, that's going to be hard for us, right? When we don't have that much depth, I mean, it is, it is what it is. I, you know, we're just going to try to gut it out for three days straight here to uh, see if we can make it to Saturday. So, you know, I'm not in a position to wishing that Darius had to play 40 or preserve to play 40 or whatever it is. It's just, you know, we've got to do whatever it takes for us to win, you know, step by step. So. I think they're excited, they're motivated, they see that opportunity, they know there's a lot of parity in this league, uh, you know, so we just got to get past this first one and, and take it from there. She's the head coach of the Hofstra Pride women's basketball team. Coach Javesky, coach, thanks for joining hey, us. Thank you. You've been watching the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com.